Hello, and welcome to episode 6 of Let's Play Civilization 6. Uh, we are picking up where we last left off. Uh, we have some caravels here that we want to move to uh, begin exploring uh, territory here and to finish uh, exploring what we haven't done exploring and meet more civs. I know that there's the, Greece here, the Greeks here, but I haven't had a chance to uh, move units around here yet uh, to meet them. So I'll get to that eventually. Uh, at this point, however, um, this unit here is stuck here because of the weird unit cycling issues in Civ 6. Uh, I'm still playing on the unpatched version, so we're still about three weeks in. I'm not sure when the video is going to get uploaded, but uh, when it does, um, just to let everyone know, we're still playing the unpatched version. I can see Brazil is already uh, have AT crews researched. Uh, let's see how far behind we are on tech. There are 40 techs in. We are 29, so 11 techs. Uh, it's worse than it looks. So, I mean, th th this is a modern or industrial era unit. Um, one thing the AI in this game does quite well is beeline for certain techs. And because the Eureka bonuses and how the tech tree is a little bit shorter than in previous games, you can get quite deep in before uh, and having not researched a bunch of other techs. I don't know if I like it or not, but that's what it is what it is, so it's just something I want to mention. So let's uh, continue doing what we're doing here and see how far we can go with this. Sail. Uh, I don't think I can sail it around here to meet the Greeks. Let's see what we can find here. do that. That's going to give us a Casas Belli, and I've been thinking about attacking them. <laughs> I saw a bank that said 24-hour banking, but I didn't have that much time. We shall not cease from exploration, and oh. the end of all our exploring will be to arrive where we started and know the place for the first time. Okay, good. We, we can switch to the government, which is what we want. additional trade routes which is going to help us a lot because I need to connect down my cities more. Uh, hmm. So this, I can send this up here to Tokyo. And we'll buy another one here. Send that to Kyoto.
It's tempting to send this fruit overseas. Let's send this back to Lisbon again. happened to the settler that was here. <laughs> Man is a military animal. Okay. Oh, I think I shouldn't have done research for that because uh, I just completed it. Uh, let's see, let's build some more. Uh... Knights. I'm intentionally not sending a trade route to uh, the Sumerians because I am thinking I might declare war on them. Uh, these religious units are being a pain in the ass again. gold and get an outpost going here so I can send all the way to Rio eventually. That's not a very profitable trade route, but I like the, how the game makes you work for your uh, the more profitable trade routes, because once you have an outpost or trading post built up, you get more, uh, more yields from the trade routes. And you can see here the AI is just building wonders left and right. And thinking about it, I probably won't want to declare war until I get um, cannons going. Uh, just because um, I think it's going to be very hard taking cities with catapults at this point. Oh, I can move these to muskets. wonder what happened to the uh, settler. It's not to be seen. Oh, 
there's a nitre here, but we have access to two sources, so we're fine. I wonder if the uh, barbarians captured a settler and it's just hiding around down here. Because if we can take it, the pen I'm gonna... might not be mightier than the sword. And we're just gonna turn that around and build the city with it. Capital. Order request. Uh, let's get a builder out. You, uh, I'm not using my gold right now because I've spent through about half my reserves just upgrading units and doing stuff. I want to try to grab the. Uh, uh, I was gonna say hidden fortress. Uh, not the Hidden Fortress, the uh, Forbidden City uh, with Kyoto. Um, see if I can grab that. Uh, it will be worth it because I think that's a free policy slot. Okay, I don't see the settler. I'm going to move my samurai unit back. And I'm trying to get some uh, great merchant points, but I'm losing to the uh, Germans and the Brazilians, which is surprising. And here in Nagoya, once the walls are finished, I'm going to build another caravel. Just get my navy up somewhat respectfully. Not respectfully, but res in a more respectable way. Okay, so I have one... Uh, where's my other one? Okay, let's move this up here. So the Germans and the Romans are fighting for religious control, which is always interesting because religion is one aspect of the game I really haven't explored too much with. Um, in one of the game, the, my last uh, immortal game, uh, in the late game, I had gotten Buddhism from the Chinese, I think, and I was the, trying to defend it, that religion that wasn't native to me, but I was producing uh, holy men, uh, apostles, and missionaries, and. My apostles were actually, uh, 27 turns, jeez. Uh, and I have to give up. I guess I have to give one of these up, don't I? Uh, yeah, and so I was, um... That's... Yeah, so I was uh, defending with my, um... Apostles, and I was getting all sorts of religious relics from my apostles dying. 
actually. So that was kind of interesting. I don't know if you don't get it if you're defending in your home territory, but I wasn't. Or I was getting it for defending in my own territory. Stuff are starting to get expensive to build, so I need to get some more uh, builders out to buff my infrastructure. They can think what they want. get a great general as well which I've been trying to get by doing encampment trainings but hasn't gone too well yeah I just almost fell uh, yeah I just fell behind on uh, this great general here from Rome so I need to uh, catch up again I'm keeping this ship back at home to protect my coasts That's Spanish city that was taken over, probably, by the Brazilians. Yeah, I see flames. The reason why I'm kind of looking at the, the Sumerians to attack is you can see here their city defenses aren't that great. So, oh, well, God, glad you're happy. Uh, so I think we might have a chance here. So, but uh, if this guy here. I'm gonna lead with my uh, muskets, obviously. Those are the strongest units I have. Uh, let's try encampment training again. Yeah, I don't know what happened to the settler that was poking around down here. Maybe they disbanded it because it wasn't going anywhere. And first, Hephaestus makes a great Two. 
Did I only have two catapults? I thought I had three. Oh, here's the third one. Three. Okay. Okay. We're gonna try this. Kashan, Kashan. city, which will be interesting. Yeah, that's a bit of a peanut shooter against that city wall there. Uh, um, no, I'll, I'll save that for a thing. Uh, let's move this unit out here. So I want to encircle the city first with my uh, muskets and then move in to attack. And you can see these red spots, those are actually telling me where to encircle. So, oh, okay. Let me send the galley here to block their harbor. There might be a city here too that I don't see. Uh, let's move that in here. Uh, I'm going to send one of my pikes in here. They're cheaper to replace. Okay, I'm gonna move up. Let's rest them here. Let's start moving our cannons. spied on us. Sumerians. Okay, well. We can't talk to them yet, so can't tell them not to spy on us. Uh, Forbidden Palace? Oxford, okay. Oh, okay. We're getting a lot of crossfire here. And our uh, crossbows are getting demolished, so I gotta pull it back. Pulling that back. Let's move this fresh one out here.
The AI does really not like you to declare war once you're past a certain point in this game, and I, I don't think the Casa's Belli system works as well as intended. a redo. I'm gonna get a hit here. I don't like the religious units getting in the way of um, what I need to do. scared me a bit. 
So this is gonna get dicey because my units uh, have. This is very much a. Uh... Okay, this is a very tight spot. Okay, I think I'm gonna lose this crossbow here if they focus fire on my. Uh... Yep, just lost it. Hoping for free promotions to get my HP healed on some of these units. Otherwise, uh... With these two cannons going at it a couple of turns, I should be able to take this city, but I'm just worried that my units won't last long enough. have changed and the era of diplomatic delegate a diplomat is a man who always remembers okay yeah these cannons are insane lose at least one of my muskets, I think. Uh, let's go Divine Right for Monarchy, although I'm likely, unlikely to go for it. Let's build a replacement musket here. Uh, another builder at this point. Gorgo Emi, Hava Sileia στα Σπάρτα και Χαγεμόν των Χελένων. Τι σε εσύ, τι να νίκα χωριό στε εσύ, Αγγέλεϊν. Οι Γρήκοι δεν έχουν καλή σχέση με με την τελευταία φορά που έχω παίξει. Δεν έχω παίξει, δεν νομίζω. Ναι, η τελευταία φορά που έχω παίξει, δεν έχω παίξει. Ναι, η τελευταία φορά που έχω παίξει, δεν έχω παίξει. And I've ended up taking Argos uh, before taking the rest of your cities. Oh, don't die, don't die, no! Oh, they're concentrating on my cannons now. Yeah, they broke the siege because they killed that one unit there, but we're gonna kill off this unit here. Come on, you can do it. Get a builder out here. Uh, 
can do it. Continue. I'm gonna bring him back here to rest. Yes, we're gonna keep the city. Uruk is here. Yeah, I think we we can go all the uh, kill, take a couple of cities from them because we have the technological advantage. These cannons are just destroying. Uh, the uh, AI cities, uh, their walls just can't hold up. Um, and with the open plains here, I should be in a better position to take a rook. Uh, let's repair. Greenery. I'm getting some great general points from going to war. Okay. Uh, let's, let's get arrested. Great general would really help because I'll, I'll get area buffs for my. Uh, oh, there's a worker here I can use. I'll take the pitiful gold just to pad our coffers. Sure, we'll do that too. Promotion available, thank you. Oh, the Germans now have declared war on us. Ihr habt der Warnung wohl vernommen. Doch suche dir noch immer Street. Nu werdet ihr es lernen, wie so manik Mann vor euch. Complicates things a bit. Okay, I want to promote him. Uh, good. see but uh, let's see if we can hold on to this I need to heal this one more turn and then I can use it to attack one of these knights uh, 20 turns for a wall shoot it shows the right time to attack too I'm just glad that this unit got healed up. Perfect. I'm going to land my... I conclude then this point touching upon the power of kings with this axiom of divinity. Can I land my... Move 
moving the pike out. Moving the cannons in. Switch to a more uh, militaristic policy that's going to help us. That's fine. Uh, yeah, let's gain. No, nothing too good. We're not having a lot of luck with great people. Uh, that's that's how it rolls with uh, immortal difficulty because the AI's production advantage is so huge that they can just buy it. For peace with them. Huh. We'll go for it. It's free gold. Ship stuck over there. Kind of weird stalemate with the Germans, they're not attacking. I think the human race made a big mistake at the beginning of the Industrial Revolution. Scorch Earth. Send a trade route. Commercial hub, okay. Traders to send. Okay, they're building an encampment there. Oh. 
eye. Give them their spy back. I want the open borders to uh, deal with the Germans. There's a barbarian up here. Okay. Slav first.
can make peace with the Germans. I don't really want to fight them. is in danger, so I should swap it out next turn if it doesn't die. There is little man has made that approach. Great, I can already build an electronics factory, which is nice. Mm. Can we get a harbor? Yeah. It's going to take a while, though.
Okay, I think this episode is running much longer than I anticipated, so we'll end it here. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.